Hey guys, Rhino Bones here with an unboxing thing from ForeignMRE.com. Uh, Art and Nina actually sent us a replacement, even though we specifically said we didn't really need one because we had enough fun doing the video anyways. But their customer support is wonderful and they said we're sending you one no matter what. So let's open it up and see what we got. Did get a letter here. It says, here's a replacement ration. You saved the review and it was hilarious. Our apologies, Art and Nina. No apologies necessary. It was wonderful the way it was. What do we have here? I don't know. I don't know what this is. What do you think it is, Micah? An MRE? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm just going to... Oh, I don't even need to tear it open. Ooh. Check that out. It's times like this, I really wish I had invested in that phone app. Or taken the time to put it on my phone. Mmm, can't wait. Whoa. Oh, that was heavy. Whatever this is, it was heavy. Looking at it, I would have thought it was crackers of some sort. You can kind of see the delineation between bars. I don't know. It's going to be delish. And we do have our replacement pack for the one that was messed up. Man, are you ready for this, guys? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tear all this open and lay it out. We don't have a tray today, it's in the dishwasher. Let's see, this actually does have a tear tab, so I'm just gonna. Ooh. What in the world? I feel like a cheese block? I don't think it's a cheese block. I think it's a, I think it's a cookie. Oh, it smells great. <laughs> Let's open up this one and get a good taste. It's kind of like marzipan. Here you go, son. Here, I'll give you the big piece since it's your replacement. Here you go, MDJ2K13. Have a bite. Take a look. It's a cookie. It smells very, very sweet, but it doesn't have a very, very sweet flavor. It's kind of a... I don't even know what to describe that as. It's very savory. Tastes weird. I don't think you understand what savory means. I don't, but it's good. <laughs> There's a hint of almond flavor in it. It's very much a just a dry cereal bar. It's not really much of a cookie whatsoever. Tastes pretty weird. Well, that was pretty good. Let's check this thing out. So we got some more of those cookies. Looking at them, 125 grams. Got the number 13 on them. Yep. So I'm not gonna bother opening these because we know what they are. And whatever it is, it's really good. Hey, what happened to my little piece? Did you steal my little piece? Yeah, and I ate it. Boy! <laughs> Did I have one of those packs? <laughs> yes, you can have one of these packs. Mm. And since MDJ2K13 does not like them, I'll keep his share. See, we have something round and somewhat squishy. Maybe a sponge. I don't know. What do you think, MDJ2K13? Think it's gonna be a sponge? Yeah. Is it a sponge? Ew. What is that? Mmm, meat. Looks like pad squick as a piece of meat. Mmm. That's pretty good. I'm kind of surprised at that. Pick it up with your fingers, boy. I'm not putting it in your mouth. Tastes Good. like spam. Yeah, that's a hunk of spam. I enjoyed that. Huh. So what do you think this is gonna be? Ooh, there's some weird feeling stuff in here. I don't know what that's There's something be. very hard right here. What do you think it's gonna be? I don't know. We got, is that cabbage or greens? Pickled cabbage, I think. Smells really good. I think that's supposed to go with the ham. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't mind eating it by itself. Luckily, we've got this spoon left over from a last video. And I cleaned my spork. Get a little bite of this for 2K13. Here you go, son. It's very, uh, I guess the word would be plump. <laughs> it's kind of middle. 
I don't think that tasted like metal. I think it just tastes like a pick, uh, pickled uh, vegetable. I have no idea. It... It's really good. I kind of like it. I don't know why, but it reminds me of bacon. That's pretty weird. Here's that hard piece that was in there. I think I'll avoid eating that one. Just the stem. Very pleasant. I like it. While you were doing that, I said eat it. You did? I did not hear you. That's weird. That was a pretty interesting little thing. I've got no idea what some of it was, but man, it was tasty. That's a good breakfast. This was my favorite part. <laughs> More food. Time for the refresh. Got our fuel tablet and uh, stove. Ooh, Popping that in the teepee thing. hole. This green thing is sugar. Apple butter. I'm excited for that. I love this stuff. Mm. Sugar. That is a lot of sugar. I, I've never understood why they have so much sugar. Got salt and pepper. A little bit of tea. Some moist towelettes, which I'll put in the teepee hole. Got uh, something. <laughs> that thing looks weird. We'll open it up and take a bite out of it. Got a couple of packs of those stout crackers and a fully intact main course. I'm going to go get this stuff heated up and we'll try it out. Battery's almost dead. All right, our battery's almost dead, so we're going to kind of make this quick. I've kind of shaken things up a little bit as I was heating it. This one right here, I really believe this is that big hunk of meat in the oil. This right here, not quite sure. It didn't make much of a noise. So let's open these up and try them out. Hey. Looks like baby food. It does look like baby food. And I found out from one of our subscribers that this is actually uh, applesauce zucchini. And it smells really good. Butter and garlic. That's going to be great. Let's open this thing up, see what we got. It was very moist, very schlopping around in there. Making a mess already. Oh, it's a different big hunk of meat. <laughs> the smell is wonderful. As I was here, ooh, got some, got some peppers in there. All right, ready to try this stuff out? Let's start with this uh, puree. Here you go, Seth. That is very good. Yeah. I like it just as much as I did in the last time I tried it. I like it a little better. It's nice and warm this time. It is a lot better warm. I'll try it with a cracker. I'm gonna have to use those teeth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very nice stuff. Set that to the side and save it for later. Now comes our hunko meat. Hunko meat. See those bell peppers up on top of it? It's got a little bit of seasoning in it. Smells really good. I smell it. I hope so. You're standing in the same room. Got chunks of potatoes. All right. Take a peek. Pretty hot stuff. It's pretty good. I think there's some cabbage. Definitely got potato. Yep, it's definitely potato. I try some. Ooh. Of course you can try some. Hmm. I'll give that a 100. And give that a 100? Yeah. I don't know. I, it's pretty decent. I don't think I'd give it a 100. I might give this uh, a 75 on flavor. Really good texture. I love the potatoes. I love the peppers. It's pretty nice, but it's definitely not something I would want to have on a regular basis. All right, slide this off to the side. If that was something we could buy 
eat it every day for lunch. You'd eat that every day for lunch? Yeah. Well, maybe you should move to Russia. What do you think? Move to Russia and join the army. <laughs> Don't do that. That would be bad. You can join our army. All right, you ready for some apple butter, Micah? Uh -huh. Okay, don't make a mess. Mm. Pretty good. This stuff, very impressive. I love it. All right, same type of tea as before. Unfortunately, this time I also took it, or also <laughs> fixed it after I ate some of the apple stuff, so it's gonna have an apple flavor for me. And it's real good. I love that tea, especially after eating the apple butter. I can imagine just sticking some of that apple butter in there and how good that would be. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. So there you have it. Thank you, Art and Nina, for the replacement. It really wasn't necessary, but gosh, I'm so glad you did. Made for a great Saturday morning breakfast for the three of us. And we're gonna finish this off and see everybody later. Bye.